All right, we want to check in with New 6's Eric Von Anken. Once again, he is standing by at Kennedy Space Center. Uh, we are getting very close, 11 minutes now, Eric, to liftoff. Lisa, love looking at that countdown clock behind me. 11 minutes, 20 seconds as we speak. So fueling is going well. I just heard an update from NASA right now in SpaceX. They say that um, the rocket is almost full at this point. And we should point out, this is a very tense time for the astronauts. Earlier I said they can't do anything. I mean, they, they're strapped in and they're really just waiting and <laughs> in some cases twiddling their thumbs. But they know the risk at this point. So, so they're putting on thousands of pounds of liquid oxygen and RP-1. That's, that's highly refined, uh, it's kind of like jet fuel, highly refined liquid kerosene on board the Falcon 9 right now for those nine monstrous Merlin engines that are going to produce a million and a half pounds of, of thrust that lift off and then also that second single engine on the second stage of the Falcon 9. Remember we had an incident in 2000, it was 2017, it was right here on the Space Coast. There was an Israeli satellite on top of the Falcon 9. There was obviously no precious human cargo on board, but an Israeli satellite. And what happened as they were about to do a static fire test, they were also fueling, so same situation as right now. And there was an issue inside the rocket. There was actually a leak, it turns out, and that caused the rocket to disintegrate. Well, Elon Musk said, if the pad abort system that Doug and Bob have right now and have on, switched on right now, if that had been active on that Falcon 9, everything would have been fine. The Super Draco thrusters would have launched that, that capsule, shot it off the top of that rocket, the Falcon 9, and saved the satellite. Let's listen in a second. <laughs> 